We cover weather and traffic every 10 minutes on CBS 2 News this morning. I can't remember the sustained period. I mean, you know, winter wasn't terrible if mm -hmm. you're down here on the Treasure Valley floor. Right. So we didn't really have, you know, a sustained period of precipitation then. And it, it yeah. feels like it's well, February. Forever. February was our big month. Right. And yeah. That was our, big, that was our rain, wet month. Lots of snow, like. but yeah, we're okay, getting yeah, another That's right. More rain. That's what I was thinking yeah. of. But it wasn't necessarily snow. I can't right. remember this long stretch where we're just getting hit day after yeah. day. Yeah, it's been, uh, you know, over a week now where we've had mm -hmm. pretty persistent shower activity. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, it's carrying on. So typically big weather patterns like this, they tend to hold can for about 10 days. Yet? What's that? Can we fire him yet? <laughs> yeah. I'm tired of what you're telling us. With something changed, right? We need yeah. some, something new. So, uh, yeah, more of the same today, though. We've still got moisture coming up from the southeast, so okay. we're going to continue to see a chance of some moisture out there. Beautiful start to the day, though. I love this shot in Ontario this time of morning from the Edge Performance Sports Camera. Yeah, we've got some cloud cover out there. We're still going to see some sunshine, though. And with the uh, breaks in the cloud cover, some of the sunshine, that does give the chance uh, for the atmosphere to warm up some, maybe even generate some instability to flare up some more showers this afternoon as we have moisture rotating through. So sunrise this morning, yeah, happening uh, as we speak. 6-12 is when uh, sunrise for the Boise area. 9-11 is sunset, so we're almost at 15 hours worth of day length now. As we hit solstice June 21st, we're going to have about 15 and a half hours. So we've still got another half hour to gain of day length before uh, things start to wind back down the other way. All right, chances of moisture for today. It's very slim, just a 20% chance of seeing some spotty showers out there. Uh, as we head into Friday, Saturday, Sunday, more of these occasional showers are expected. In fact, some of the latest model trends have backed off over the weekend uh, to, again, just seeing some of those occasional showers even into Memorial Day before things should start to dry out as we head into midweek next week. So future cast showing the area of low pressure that's going to start to lift uh, to the north and east today. That's going to bring up some of that wraparound moisture, expecting just some of those spotty showers. Uh, we start to see moisture coming from the northwest on Friday as another storm system drops down out of the Gulf of Alaska, and that's going to keep the active weather pattern going through the Memorial Day weekend. So extended forecast for the Treasure Valley, upper 60s today, tomorrow, mid to upper 60s Saturday and Sunday with some occasional rain showers. That slight chance again on Monday, still looking at breezy conditions Tuesday with partly cloudy skies, but warmer temperatures. We should see those mid 70s midweek next week, 76 on Wednesday, normal high is 74. Mountains, yeah, upper 50s today to mid 50s as we head into the weekend, 62 on Sunday with some of those occasional rain showers and then seeing drier weather as well for the mountains midweek next week is uh, also. Okay, appreciate it. Thank you, Nate. Yeah.